21-year-old Jared Dittmars was accidentally shot in the head by a spear gun by a friend he was spear fishing with on Saturday in the waters under the twin bridges near the Sarasota Yacht Club. Doctors tell Rob and Mary Beth Dittmars that their son Jared will never wake up. The Dittmars, who are divers themselves, say they have forgiven Jared's friend who accidentally shot him in the head with a spear gun while spear fishing on Saturday. Mary Beth says the accident could have been avoided. I know that because of the fact that there was no safety on the gun, this was preventable. Mrs. Dittmars implores other spear fishermen to ensure that the safety is engaged on their guns. Local boat captain and spear fisherman Gary Gilliland shows us how to engage the safety on a spear gun. It's exactly like a regular gun. Uh, it has a fire and a safety switch, which will lock the trigger from engaging. So I'm not able to pull it there, and that just released the spear. Juan Leon knows the danger of spear fishing firsthand. He was shot with a spear gun as a teenager. He says taking a safety awareness course would be beneficial, even for lifelong spear fishermen like himself. An awareness course on do's and don'ts, because we all go out and do, but we always forget about the don'ts. In addition to encouraging safety awareness for all divers, Mary Beth has another message for Suncoast families. Tell your kids you love them every single day. Um, and kids, don't walk out of the house mad at your parents. Stop and make up. <laughs> Azure O'Neill, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.